Okay, so I thought I would be down in the basement today to show you what some of this stuff is. We've got a little bit of lighting that I can set up and you can see what's down here. And a lot of people haven't ever seen this. So here we go. Take a look around. Right now, I'm standing right next to the old pool. Here is, here's what they, you can see my foot there. And I'm standing on a bunch of little tiny hexagonal tiles. These tiles cover the whole area around the pool. And they also cover the very bottom of the pool. We'll move down here a little bit and see what all this planking and stuff here, get, it, get past it. You can see clear down into the pool, now the very bottom of that, that was covered with the same tiling. You just can't see it because it is just covered with dirt and gross stuff that's fallen down over the years. We'll move down here to the end a little bit. Now we're looking into the deep end. This is probably the deepest part right here. It's about 10 feet deep. And if we look over here at the very end of the pool, you can see that whole edge of the pool with the the, the guttering around it and everything, that's covered, that's made out of ceramic, like ceramic bricks, ceramic tiles that look like bricks. And that's the whole siding of the pool. Way back in the corner, you can see a ladder with the kind of the curved, that's the ladder right there. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the pool so you can get out of there. There's a, that, that pillar right there, that's an old, we think it's an old boiler or something. And uh, the pool, we'll, we'll head on over to the edge of the pool. This side of the pool is probably about five or six feet wide. And now I've moved to the deep end. I'm right underneath the doorway for the, you can't see it, but here's the, right above me would be the doorway for the main entrance to the whole building. We'll look back this way. We can see the length of the pool with that big bright light that's shining in it, so it really blinds us. <laughs> but we'll climb over here and get a look at the width of the pool. We see over here, now we're getting over to where the, the edge of the building is, and I'm going to turn on a flashlight so that I can give you a little bit better look here. Sorry for the jumpiness in the camera there. Okay, now, here those la here's that ladder I pointed out a little bit ago. And we can see the edge of the pool. There's the guttering right there. And then here is where, if you got out of the pool, you have just about a foot of space to stand before the wall starts. And this wall is the basement wall that is right next to the fitness center. Okay. So, we've got a little, little bit of a stairway here. We're not exactly sure what the deal was with this. At some point, somebody built a platform. We can see it right there. We've got the bottle on it. That's where the stairs go. That platform led up a couple more steps. And there was a platform there that I'm looking at. That platform there had a couple showers and, and toilets and sinks in it. We're wondering if, if right above me was the barber shop, if maybe that area was um, used as kind of a shave and a shower and, you know, kind of a place where you can freshen up if you didn't have a shower. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's the best we've come up with so far. Why you would want two showers built into the place. Now, that was, of course, after the, after the pool had closed down. So now we're going to go back here in the back corner. This would be the, the southeast corner of the building. We're going to see. I'm going to turn a light on in here. I have to actually screw it in. Let's see what we get here. There it is. Oh, so bright. Excuse me. Okay, so this looks like it might have been uh, kind of a shower area. We can see an old wooden sandal here. Just one. <laughs> kind of compare my foot. I have a size 12. There's that sandal there. And this is an old bucket back here that's been filled with water and gunk for years and years. Don't know what's going on there. An old bit of shower. This is just concrete walls. It looks like there must have been maybe some shelving or something there. Some kind of stuff. Um, over here, when they when they put the new ceiling in for the for the lobby for the uh, ISIS theater, they actually had to tear this part of this pillar out. You can see what that is. But down on the floor, you can see there's kind of a uh, a place built there. Like maybe these were some shower stalls or something in here for you to change your clothes and clean up before or after the after you got done with the, with the swimming. Whoever built this stuff put a lot of these old posters that they used to post around town. They kind of pasteboarded up things with this. Got a big old crate here. Nothing in it. The back side of it's open so you can look into it. There's nothing in it. Anyway, I'm going to turn the light off and we'll go look at something else. Ooh. There we go. Okay, now we're heading back up towards the shallow end of the pool, which is towards the screen. Okay? Now the... the the shallow end of this pool ends right about where the back row of the theater starts. The back row of seating of the, the current ISIS theater. 
So, now you can see on the wall here, there's a couple holes in the wall. This wall used to be solid. It looks like they, they broke holes into it so they could get into the back part of the building. Here's, here's where that, the holes have been broken in. So this has been a solid wall. And we'll come through here. We've got a doorway, and this doorway was actually here, but you can see that the the, the sides of the, of the doorway are there, and so are the, the tiles going through the doorway. So that was obviously here, and used at one time. It wasn't a door they put in later on. So now, the back wall of the whole building where the, where the swimming pool is, we're about halfway through the Isis Theater now. We've passed the lobby, we're in the very back row of the, of the auditorium. So now, we look here, and this is about head level for me. I'm about mouth level where that black line is. And that black line is, and you see my hand there? It's, it's pretty thick there. 